in the past few hours that a prominent downtown restaurant may be able to reopen after the city abruptly shut the place down. Now this is happening at the Vine, a longtime fixture right next to the Morris Theater. WSBT's Ted Land joins us with this developing news. And Ted, what is the latest? Well, it's not a done deal just yet, but we learned tonight that the Vine's owners are actively trying to reopen and that the city, which owns the building, is willing to meet with them and see if they can work something out. The Friday night theater crowd may have noticed something unusual on their way into the Moore's Performing Arts Center. The Vine, where a lot of people like to eat before the show, shut down. We owe it to the taxpayers to be fiscally responsible, and there's no reason for people who work every day and pay their taxes to have to subsidize a restaurant who's not paying the rent. I don't think that's fair. The city of South Bend, which owns the building, says the Vine's owner hasn't paid the rent in six months. Plus, they say they found multiple code violations during an inspection earlier today. So the city put up signs and changed the locks. They were going to get paid, and they will get paid. I mean, that's what's so, it's just so dramatic to have a news camera in there while they're changing the locks. I mean, you'd think I'm like a, 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 a cocaine dealer from Bolivia or something. Late today, we learned that the restaurant agreed to pay back the rent they owe. They're scheduled to meet with city officials tomorrow to talk about how they can reopen. Before they can reopen, the city says that the Vine must address some fire code violations. A court hearing is still scheduled for next week in response to the city's efforts to collect its money. Ted Land, WSBT Channel 22 News. A somber scene.